You can get great deals on Lego and you can buy Lego sets at significant discounts if you know what you're doing. And we talk about that quite a lot on this channel, but we never really break down some of the different strategies that we use to actually get better deals. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about one of these strategies. This is more geared towards newcomers to online arbitrage and to you know buying things online for resale because you know a lot of you will already know about this particular strategy but it is one that I think is very very important for anyone who doesn't already know about it so I wanted to talk about it in this video and that is to actually get cash back for buying through portals online right and what do I mean by that essentially there are portals which give you cash back when you click on their links to visit the retailers and buy from the usual retailers that you would buy from. So you can buy Lego from your usual places like Target or Walmart or Kohl's or Michael's or anywhere else that you might want to buy Lego and you can actually get it at a discount by getting cash back for placing your purchases. And how does this work? So basically there are some companies that are partnering with the retailers and they have a deal where if they send traffic to the retailers then they will get some cash back and they pass on a portion of that cash back to you if you go to this uh, website and click their link to actually bring you to the retailer and then um, you can get some tools and things that will kind of make it easy and quick for you and if you build this into your workflow when you're buying Lego or buying anything really uh, you will build up a quite a lot of cash back for pretty much doing absolutely nothing differently and you know in some cases this cash back can really really reduce the price that you're gonna have to pay for the Lego set and it can pretty much create a margin for you, a profit margin from, from thin air, because now you're buying below the retail price. And then you know, you're know you gonna have an advantage over people who do not use this particular strategy. So in this video, I'm gonna look at one of these cashback sites. It's called Rakuten. Anyone who already is familiar with Rakuten, feel free to check out one of our other videos. But if you, you, know, you wanna learn about this um, particular website and a way to get cash back on your Lego buying, uh, stick around and check this out. Okay, so I'm on Rakuten.com here and this is the home screen that you will see when you first go to the website. And right here you see firstly that they're offering double cash back on certain stores. These are promotions that Rakuten will frequently run where you can really kind of get great deals on certain brands and certain kind of retailers that uh, they're doing a promotion with. You know, you can see things like Nike here, which was 1.5% cash back and now it's 6%. You can see things like, um, you know, Forever 21, which is 10% cash back right now. Now we do see Lego retailers showing up in this uh, pretty often. So just a couple of weeks ago, Lego.com had 15% cash back on Rakuten, which is a huge, huge discount. Uh, Lego.com directly rarely does sales. And so being able to get cash back when you actually place orders, um, and then also get your VIP points on lego.com as well. It's a great way to stack kind of two different ways of getting uh, cash back essentially in order to create a margin or a profit margin for yourself um, or just buy sets a little bit cheaper um, than you know you usually would. And so you know paying attention to the double cash back and the promotions that they do is a great way to make sure that you're getting the best deals. And then as soon as Lego shows up here or a retailer that sells Lego shows up here, then that might be an opportunity for you. So you can actually see, as you scroll through them, you know, you can also click on see all stores and you can see all the different ones that have a promotion on right now. Or you can just search at the top, right? So we have a search box here and I can type in something like Walmart. I know that uh, Walmart, you know, sells Lego and it's a place where a lot of Lego sellers and Lego collectors will buy their, um, their items from. You can see here that Walmart was 3% and now it's offering 6% cash back. If I click this button right here, it will actually take me straight over to Walmart. On the way there, I will see a redirection happening. And that's Rakuten just kind of making sure that they're storing or passing the information to Walmart that the click came from them. And then that Walmart will be able to report back if I actually make a sale. And so when you're on Walmart then, um, you can actually just go ahead and complete your purchase. You can search for an item, you can add it to your cart, check out as normal, and then Walmart will report back to Rakuten that you actually made a sale uh, or made a purchase, and you'll get your cash back right there in your Rakuten account. Now, coming back to Rakuten here, 
you can see they do actually have cashback categories listed on the left side so it the cashback that you get will not always be six percent right six percent is the highest amount that they offer but if you actually look at the listed uh, categories right here on the left side you can see that photo center is six percent but most of the other categories is actually one percent you know that includes uh, personal care, office supplies, pet supplies, they're all actually just 1%. And then you can actually also see cashback terms, which are, includes the exclusions right over here. And you can actually break down and see that shoes, home, pharmacy, there's a lot of these categories are completely excluded from cashback. Um, and toys is actually one of them, right? So for the purpose of Lego buying, Rakuten doesn't really help us a whole lot on Walmart. I still wanted to show this to you though because it is important to always read those exclusions and make sure that you're aware of uh, you know, whether the category that you are buying is actually excluded or what the cashback percentage is on that category. But if we're looking for Lego, we can check out a different retailer and you know there are some others that don't exclude Lego on here. Firstly, of course, we have Lego.com. If I go to, if I search for Lego and go to um, Lego Shop at Home, I can see that they have 2.5% cashback. If I click Shop now again, it will take me to the website, to Lego.com. And then you can see the cashback terms again right here on the left side. We have 2.5% cashback on most products, 1.5% cashback on exclusives. So if you go to lego.com, you look at the exclusive sets, the ones that are tagged as exclusives, and that's only going to give you 1.5% cashback, but that's still great, right? Lego's expensive, so you spend $100, you get $1.50 back, and you know, obviously over time that will add up quite a lot. And obviously for all non-exclusive items, you're going to get $2.50 back if you spend 100 bucks. Obviously, you know, it's very often that you might spend two or three hundred dollars. You spend two hundred dollars, you're getting five bucks back. You know, for clicking a button, uh, it's going to take you an extra 20 seconds. It's really, you know, not a bad way to start to rack up a little bit of, um, of cash back for the buying that you're doing. The way you're going to receive the cash back is firstly, it'll be credited into your Rakuten account. And then you give them either a PayPal account to send it to or an address to send a check to. Uh, you can get a physical check right to your door or you know my preference obviously is to use um, pay PayPal to get quick payments they make the payments quarterly so you're not gonna get it right away it's gonna build up in your account first and then they're gonna send it back to you uh, but it's still you know it's gonna come to you eventually and it's it's a fantastic um, uh, surprise when it does show up so what else can we do on Rakuten? So another store that's popular in um, in the US, of course, is Michael's. This is one that, you know, right now is 1% and usually it is 1%. But um, I've seen this jump up to as high as 20% on Rakuten, 20% cashback. And then, you know, the beautiful thing about the cashback as well with Rakuten is that this stacks on top of the retailer discounts that they're already doing. So if Michael's have, a sale which they do right here 20% off regular price purchases now I know that that's not gonna apply to Lego but if you're looking for another item and they have 20% off and then if Rakuten also happens to be doing a promotion and they're giving you bigger amounts of cash back than the 1% right here you can stack them right you can stack the sale on Michaels with the Rakuten sale and you can do really really well so you know you can get very very creative with this tool and find different ways of actually stacking deals and discounts in order to create um, a, a discount for yourself that you can buy things at much uh, better prices. So that's it for Rakuten. That's really all there is to it. It's super, super easy to use. Um, set up an account there. Start to click through. You know when you're going to buy something on Lego.com or you know on one of the other retailers. You can also get a Chrome extension, which will automatically tell you if uh, there's a discount avail or a cashback available when you're actually browsing directly on the retailer's site, which is super useful. And you can enable uh, Rakuten in the background through that Chrome extension. So that's worth checking out. Um, I will include a link in the description below to set up your Rakuten account. It will be a referral link. And if you set up an account through that link, you will get 30 bucks uh, directly into your account if you click through Rakuten and order something that's worth more than $30. So essentially you're spending 30 and you're getting 30 back right into your Rakuten account. Uh, it's a great deal. So uh, click that link below if you don't have a Rakuten account, uh, set one up 
Use this for your Lego buying going forward. You will save a ton of money and I guarantee you will not regret it. So that's everything to do with Rakuten. If you have any questions, do let us know in the comment section below. If you have any other cashback stories or tips or anything to share with the group, also drop those in the comments below. I'd love to kind of learn more uh, from you and from your experiences. Please don't forget to like the video as well. That's super, super helpful for us and it gets the video out to more people. Uh, we really, really appreciate that. So once again, I'm Shane with Brickbox.net and I'll see you in the next one.